Well folks, me again, I figured I might do my testimony part two, so, well, this is just myself sharing my stories and how I managed to get through it all. And no, this ain't acting, this is just me sharing my real stories. <sighs> I think the day I left Magnolia Manor was the day I just was not satisfied with the pay that they gave me. So that's why I left. And this was many years before I even got a raise. I just was not happy with the pay I was dealt with. I mean, I worked for, I worked there for like a month by that point, and I was one of their best, and I was working one of their best employees there, and I was just treated like garbage to say the least. So, after moving back to Woodruff and everything, I decided to say, you know what, guys, goodbye. So I worked at that nursing home there, and it, I mean, I liked it for a while, but then later on it became, became more about myself doing a whole lot more than what I was expecting to do, so, I mean, we were, where I worked previously by that point, we were a team. We really enjoyed what we were doing, but people over at that nursing home in Woodruff basically just said, oh, you do you and I do this. I mean, they were just expecting the world out of me and I just couldn't give it to them. So, I was basically a guy without, so, like a month or two after I left Woodruff's nursing home, the same place where my grandmother was in, I was just basically out of a job, basically just scouting around, trying to look for a job that will hire me, to say the least, and I repeatedly and my mom was like, hey, why don't you go back to your other job? I'm like, mom, I'm trying to find a job, not go to hell. I'm like, the only way I'll go back there is if they, they give me a raise and they, and they treat their employees like, like they actually give a crap. Because the administrator there basically just treated us like numbers. And, and originally that was the reason I left because it was just horrible. I mean, I was not satisfied. Right, so, my mom basically just went behind my back and just said, you know what, just... If he wants a job back so badly, because at the time I was out of a job and I needed the money, so I came crawling back to them, and which I didn't want to, but my mom did. I mean, I was fuming, I was, when my mom told me that, I was fuming. I'm like, Mom, don't you think you have to run that by me before you even dare do anything like that? I mean, goodness gracious. So, 
basically like a month or two after I went back to my old job. And later on, I just said, if this doesn't work out the way I want it to be, then uh, I'm just go, going to go do something else. So, I mean, because I got, because I have finances that need to be paid off, and and it was, and it was ridiculous. I literally had to beg my own boss for a doggone raise until the higher-ups called me into their doggone office. I'm like, oh, crap, here it comes. Hey, you know how those movies are where they, where the boss says, you know, it's costing me money. It's going to co cost everybody money. I'm going to have to let you go. But in reality, they pulled me aside and they showed me this paper about me getting a raise. When I saw, I was talking about, you know, you know all I asked for was a 2% and raise. I wasn't asking for the world. All I asked was for a 2% raise, and guess what? I've got it. And when I saw the paper that said, like, $11, I, I was like, hallelujah! I mean... I mean... And at the end of that, I was like, oh, thank you, God! This is awesome! I mean, I felt like the clouds parted. I even shared that on social media with y'all previously. Yeah, I do watch wrestling. Some is just too politically charged. I just... Mm -mm. When people come on to wrestle, they don't want to hear you gripe about your politics. They just came here to see who people brawl. It's like this one. You mentioned politics. It's like half the crowd. Poof. Gone. day when I said yes to Jesus because the relationship between myself and my mom was almost non-existent. And one day my my stepfather's grandfather at the time said do you, do you, do you want Jesus to be the Lord of your life? I said yeah, sure. And I said the sinner's prayer. And it felt like the weight of the world was off my shoulders after that. I mean, I was brought up Pentecostal. I mean, and it was like you hear a bunch of left and right wing conspiracy theorists babble on about how, oh, the Lord benefits this group or that group. I'm like, no, you don't understand. People always misconcept the Bible as thinking that this party benefits that party, blah, 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 who did what, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when the Lord's talking about the wise benefit the right, he's not talking about the politically right, he's talking about the ones who are spiritually right. Bingo! I mean, left or right wing conspiracy theorists always come after me and say, oh, you left the reservation, blah, blah, who did what, yeah, 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 yeah. If y'all just quit your griping, 
I mean, we've already tried. All right, helping the world, the world's way. How about we try God's way for once? I mean, you can preach a lot of, oh, we need this, we need that, blah, 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 who did this? This group did this, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we've already tried that, but I agree with Cy Robertson on this one. Let's try it God's way for once. And I don't give a rip what Hollywood says. Sick and tired of being sick and tired. And what's with all the denominations here? I mean, good grief. Jesus didn't say, oh, be a Baptist, be this, be that. No, 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 no. When you actually look at the Bible over there, he simply says, follow me, for I am the way, the truth, and the life. Simple three things. Just simple three things. What does the future hold for my channel? Hopefully me doing more videos and experimenting with different videos and see what I can do. I mean, when I run out of ideas, it's like I scour the interwebs and see what I can do. I still try to keep up this image and still do experimental things. When people look at how I dress, they think, oh, he's a freak. Oh, he's going to be one of those psychopaths you see on TV or whatever. I'm like, no, that's just Hollywood. It's like, have you actually met me in person? A gothic Christian is here to stay. time it got here yet and y'all's ain't either I mean we still got a long life ahead of everybody else a long life to live I still read the Lord's Word but when I need inspiration my recent suicide attempt happened because I was just fed up with everybody's excuses. I mean, you have a whole bunch of solutions sitting right in front of you, and you act like you can't even fix them? <sighs> too many people with too many problems. Should have fixed them many years ago. Had all the time in the world, but re just simply refused to fix them. Yeah, I do hold the door for females. That's a more gentleman-like behavior. I treat y'all how y'all deserve to be treated.
but I took it up with the Lord and I simply prayed. I said, Lord, I just need your guidance right now at this moment. That way, Father, I'm lost. Just give me hope. Give me a sign that I am loved. In your son's name, amen. takes patience, time and patience. Hey, you have to relax yourself and your mind. That's all I really, really gotta say. So, hope y'all enjoy. And I'll see y'all next video.